Yes, he's cool. He's cool. He's walking fine. Check this side. He's going. Yes. 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 Members of NARAP, a do state chapter, rendering free services to some customers as part of activities to mark the second edition of African Refrigeration Day. We just uh, uh, finished uh, this service now for uh, one of our customers in, uh, in Benin. I uh, want to use the medium to let the, the world know that um, NARAP, a do state, is marking the African Refrigeration Day. Members of the association thereafter engaged in a road show through major roads in Benin City to sensitize the public on the significance of the day. Some members comment on the theme and importance of refrigeration. African Refrigeration Day set aside by the United Nations and the whole world. We, the members of NARAB in Edo State, has gathered to celebrate and for our free services for our customers and others. The theme for this year is refrigeration at the service of nation. Refrigeration plays a vital role in food preservation. When we talk about climate change, food preservation, or food uh, sufficiency, food security, refrigeration is very important. When people don't commonize the feed, it's very, very lucrative. If you're, it's very sensitive. And uh, your children, our children, if they be able to take up this job, pick up the job, they don't have regret because it's a very sensitive and uh, respectable uh, profession. The refrigerator helps the society in so many ways, e.g. by preserving our foodstuffs or other like selling coal, uh, coal mineral water and others and even in that condition. It's not a bad job at all. I will encourage the younger generation especially, female younger generation, to indulge in this business. It's very lucrative. And it goes far beyond refrigeration and air conditioning. A member of NARAP, a do state chapter, Ozave Shebalogun, who was honored by the national body with an award of excellence, presented the award to the chairman of EDA's council, Friday Isede. Ikmonosa Ugeagbe, ITV News.